So step one is what I call how to create the legend, whether it's 0 to 2%, 2 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 15, 15 to 30. These are the slopes. Okay. Step two will be how do you make the percent? Like what does 2% slope mean on because it's an angle? Uh, so how does that transfer into a horizontal distance? Step three will be how do you make the scale? that is used to do slope analysis. Step four is the process of having made the scale. How do you start to do your slope analysis representation on the paper? And finally, once you have done that, you will be transferring that onto CAD. These are the five steps. So let's move on to step one. And so this is your Goa map. So it's very evident that we always take this perpendicular distance when you have to measure because the perpendicular distance is the shortest distance between two contours. You will not measure it like this. Okay. This is wrong. This is the right way. Okay. So you'll always measure the perpendicular distance. So what I try to do is in order to find out the range to get an idea of, of the slopes that exist on the side. It's fairly evident that these are the areas where it is steepest. These are the areas where it is least steep. So here you see, so I measured the horizontal distance. Yeah, so your scale is 300. On a 300 scale, what is this distance? You can measure it in the CAD. We've picked up two closest points, yeah? So these are the steepest slopes. So you write it down. You measure and you write these distances, the horizontal distance. So you measure it and you write it. So I've taken the tightest area, steepest, second steepest, and the farthest, and the second farthest. And with this, we'll try and find out the, the percentage of slope just to understand. So now you know that your slope on the side varies from 0.02% to 200%. So you understand the range now that's there on your side. But these two are aberrations, okay? And then you can take an average. Say this is an average, right? This is your average slope somewhere here, halfway, okay? So you will get the steepest, the farthest, and the average halfway, okay? then you will understand. So let's move to the next slide. So what we are doing is that for making of the legend, we have pre-decided in this particular case that zero to two percent, this is, we typically try to build within this. And this gets much more steeper. We try never to build, but sometimes you don't have an option. Yeah, we try and avoid building. So basing on that, we have taken these generic principles of what slopes to build on, what not to build on. So if it was some other, so that's why we tested. There is available slope from 0 to 2% in this. And there is slope beyond 333% on this side. So here is the formula. Where G stands for the gradient or the slope in percentage. D stands for the contour interval or the distance. L is what we need to find out because it is in percentage. So it's multiplied by 100. So 0% is, you can't get it. So 0 to 2%, so how much is 2? So you know the slope here is 2%. Contour interval in this particular case is at 0 0.5 upon L and then multiplied by this. This L is then equal to 25 meters. 2% yes. slope in this case, if you have a horizontal distance of 25 meters, you get about 2% slope. So this point over here is about 25 meters. Yeah, so it's about 2% slope. So similarly, you calculate now the ranges. Make sure that if this is 2, 
then there is 2% here. You can't start from 3. So if it is 2 here, 2 to 5%, then you check out what is 5% slope. So you write 5 here, plus G, 0.5, L, you need to find out 100. So this is what you get. So you get 10 meters. So then how do you make a scale? So you have this chart or you note down this number, these two. 0 to 2 percent, this. 2 to 5 percent, this. 5 to 8 percent, this. So here, what you see over here, do I have to do? I have to make a scale, right? And what is the scale? The first thing I have to do is take 1 into 300 scale. I have marked 25 meters. Now, this is very important part. Please understand this thoroughly. This is how much? 10. 10. Ten. The next is what? 6.25. 6.25. Two meters. Next, 1.5. So if yes. there is slope less than 2%, 1 percent then it's all beyond this line so this is 2 2 and that's your 25 meters so from 10 meters to 25 meters is your 5 percent this is 5 percent right this is 8 percent right so you will the first step was to make these two parallel lines get your horizontal distances get your percentages written next to it then you cut it off. Everybody can see this? So you have to cut it like this. You will cut this like this. And you would have written inside it also. Okay. Then we take your sheet. We take your hard copy. And then what do you do? You put this on the paper. So this is at, this is at 1 is to 300, right? And this is at 1 is to 300. Make sure that it is both 1 is to 300, double check it before we start this exercise. You put this on this paper and you see, you start to move it from any, any one contour you can take. So you place this actually horizontally. Here you can see this, yeah? You will place it like this and you'll start to move. As you move, you see another line? This is the line where it will change. Here, this line, once it moves here, this, what does my slow percent become? It goes into this color range. Can you understand this? As I move, at this, till this point, this was brown. As I moved here, this portion, you see, this is this slope, which is between 25 to 33. Here, it is this much, 24, it is 15 to 25. And I'll keep this moving. And I'll keep drawing these lines where the slope changes like that. So here, as I move this here, the slope changed. And so the slope is between 8 to 15 percent. Here it's 25 to, I'll just keep moving this piece of paper. Can you see as we keep moving, the slope keeps on changing. And then you start to expand into the next one. And then you will keep on expanding. So I am going to try and show you what it looks like. So I'm demonstrating how to do slope analysis. This is the scale that we have made, which corresponds to the scale over here. This is 2% slope. 2 to 5%, 5 to 8. 8 to 15, 15 to 25, and 25 and more. So we move the scale. We'll move the scale on this drawing. And as we move the scale, we will start to color. The way to move is to move between two contours. Okay, so we will do a demonstration here. So as you can see, the way is that anywhere you can start. This 
this is where I am starting. So this corresponds to this color. So you will draw a line here. Uh, as you move back where it will change, you take the other color pencil and you draw the line. This is where it is going to change. So from here to here, it is this color. Which approximately, which approximately responds to eight to fifteen percent slope. Now, as you pull it back, you are in the zone of fifteen to twenty-five percent slope, which will change over here. So this is fifteen to twenty-five percent slope. And as we are here, this is 25 to 33% slope, this whole zone. We will change it at this point over here. Now you can move ahead here and take this pencil, it's very clear, you are in the zone of 5 to 8 percent slope from here onwards. So move it perpendicular all the time. This corresponds to this, this corresponds to this, this corresponds to this, and this corresponds to this. We wait a little bit more. And then you're back in this zone, this zone. You move it further. And here it changes, as you see. I hope you get it. 